Ooh, Winner's Legion back again. He's out walking. He's wearing his Walmart outfit. Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Today is going to be a little bit different, guys, because I'm going to go driving. Driving in my car. Yes, I have a car. And yes, it is a new car. And man, I like it so far. I might be living out of it soon. Those are the pitfalls of being an entrepreneur because you take massive risks that other people don't. And most people don't want to do that. They don't want to live out of their car or live in the park or do something else really, really outrageous. Oh, what, what is that over there? What is that over there? Who is this fucking maniac? Well, what, 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 is, what is this? What is, what is this? What is this right here? Oh, that's my beast, baby. That is my fast... Very fast motorcycle. <laughs> Shit. My favorite. It is fun, but it is so hot out, and I want to go to the gym. So I'm like, fuck that. Ah. Ah. I'm going to get in my car. I'm going to get all set up here. This, this son of a bitch. He's, he's, he's being a jerk already. He's starting with the profanity. He's in the dock. Sir, put on your seatbelt. Do you want to die? No, I don't. Booyah! Today's a little bit different, guys. It's going to be a little spooky. Oh, shit. <laughs> this guy's a mental patient. See, I told you he was fat. Oh, I hear it all the time, guys. I hear all the fucking YouTube, uh... I mean, it's funny, but no matter what you do on YouTube, you're going to get shit from people. So it's like, why do I give a fuck? But the, oh, damn, look at those arms, son. Not looking too shabby there, fat boy. Anyway, enough entertainment. No, I'm not. Oh, he's just being a character of himself. I hear all these fucking criticisms. And you know what? So the fuck what? Literally. Oh shit, bitch. Bitch was flying. Slow the fuck down. Slow down, Ace. Slow down. Oh shit, it's my lights. <laughs> Whoops. Now we're in the dark. I think I cut that guy off. But anyway, guys, I know it's not uh, optimal, but I wanted to do a quick video for you gentlemen out there. And. What I wanted to talk about today, man, this, this car is really quiet, by the way. Uh, what I wanted to talk about today is something that you guys might find very, very interesting. I don't know how many of you guys have been through these situations or learned all this stuff, but essentially, damn, these, this video is going to suck today. Oh, anyway, let's do it anyway, guys. I know I'm not walking. I'll probably do a walking video later because you guys enjoy that. But today I really wanted to go over um, a couple different things. I got to just get my bearings here, driving and doing this at the same time. Might not be the brightest idea, but maybe if I just concentrate on the road, that'll work. Oh yeah, novel idea! Anyway, <laughs> uh, I'm a little bit louder as you can see because I'm not around my neighbors, so they won't freak the fuck out and say, what is your problem, buddy? wearing your Walmart vest or whatever. Man, I hate this. You guys can't see shit. Let me see if I can fix this. Or I can pop on a light or something. Man, this looks terrible. Hold on a sec. Hold on a sec. Let's see if I can uh, lighten the mood, literally. That's a little better. That's, that's all right. I think it'd be kind of weird to drive around with this on though. <laughs> anyway. Let's do it anyway, because I feel like it. So, plus I got tinted windows. Who gives a shit? So today, before we get started, donkey punch the like button right there. Don't be like that. Finger the subscribe button. Like, I know you guys like to finger. God damn, my hands look huge in this video. This is insane. Anyway, we might do some more car vlogs. You never know. So, what I wanted to do today 
is have you guys comment in the comment section and tell me what you think. Tell five of your friends. And then after that, after all that, if you guys still have questions, I'm still setting up a business email. I'm going to figure that out, but I want you guys to um, essentially hit me up if you got questions. I know you guys have questions. You're looking at my Clarity uh, profile and you're trying to figure out, do you want to go ahead and set up a call? Yes, it's okay to set up a call. What is this right here? What is that? It's like, like an emergency. What the fuck? I'm seeing shit. Oh, it's over here. It's over here. It's over here. Oh, it's this. It's my clicker. I'm tripping, guys. That's my little clicker. I'll take this down so it's not in your eyes. Anyway, what I want you guys to do is give me a call if you have questions. If you got freaking questions, especially if they pertain to very specific situations, business questions, how to incorporate. Yes, I'm a tech company owner. I may not look it, but hey. We do business, baby. I've had multiple businesses. I've got, I'm, I'm not an author yet, but I will be after I finish this book and I will get you guys the book. Um, it's gonna be good, guys. It's gonna go over a lot, a lot of stuff. These gray hairs tell a long story. But I want you guys to go ahead and hit me up with your questions because I know you have them, especially if they're pressing matters, business questions, dating advice, the whole nine yards, all right? So, I know I know you guys like to date, I know you like to do all that. I'm more of a hookup coach. I'm just gonna say it. I'm a fucking hookup coach because I've spent most of my life hooking up. Yes, I have had girlfriends. Yes, I've had incredible women. But, if you guys wanna learn how to hook up, it is a hookup culture, so more than welcome to. Anyway. I do have relationship experience though, and I can help you with relationships as wild and wacky as I am. I know how to keep the relationships going. You guys think may think I'm crazy, but I can do it, and I have done it. I just choose not to. It's not for me at this point in time. Maybe later. Um, God, I've, I've had a, guys, I've been married and divorced. I've done it all. I know what I'm doing. Booyah! Anyway, let's get started. So today is gonna be a good one. How many of you guys have dated Latinas? Latinas are absolutely incredible. Incredible. In fact, for many years, I wasn't quite sure. What do I like? Do I like the Latinas more or do I like the Asians more? And I know, oh, that's so ch You're racist. People, dude, I swear to God, guys, you say you like Latinas, you say you like it. That's racist. They're fucking Latina, dummy, or they're Asian. Oh my God, people, you can't please it. Guys, don't try to please everybody. If you try to please everybody, you please nobody. So what the fuck is the point? You know what I mean? Anyway, how many of you guys have dated Latinas? They are incredible. And the reason why I'm bringing this up is because a lot of you guys are asking about the foreign ladies. A lot of, there's guys on here that are married to foreign ladies. They've got the experience and you know what? It's nice to give back and just celebrate some of the incredible women out there, guys. Because there's plenty of shitty women in the United States. Holy shit! There's plenty of those that are absolute garbage. But man, there are some amazing, traditional, feminine, foreign, oh yeah, you know? Those chicks are fucking incredible. And I was thinking about it today, and maybe you guys don't have experience with those ladies, but I'm gonna help you out a little bit today on what to expect from traditional Latinas and what they're all about. Because maybe you guys haven't really experienced that before, and I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys haven't, uh, mainly because, you know, dating inequities right now, and there's not a lot of American girls going after 80% of dudes. I mean, probably 90%. To crack into the American chicks, you gotta be a real asshole. You gotta be outrageous. You gotta do crazy shit, kinda like what I do. And you gotta be a real dick. And most, a lot of you guys aren't like that. And that's okay, you don't need to. I don't believe that you guys need to change your, I have, look, F that. Why should you guys have to change yourselves 
just to get a woman. I don't agree with that at all. I believe that you guys have earned a good woman just being an average guy. I'm dead serious. You guys should not have to, oh, you gotta be high value, you gotta be high value. Guys, why? To get some ass that's garbage, that's used, that's old? Most women in America are used by the time they are fucking 19, 18 now. They've got 100, 200 body, what? They're used up, guys. So why would I ever promote you guys chasing that and all these goddamn dating coaches? Oh, come on, man. You got to approach 500 chick Guys, I watch these stupid ass dating coaches and I'm blown away. This is the dumb son of a bitch. Cut me off. I hate driving in LA, guys. It's so fucking annoying. Even up in my little, uh, my new little car. But anyway, these dating coaches are like, what? Why should you guys approach women that have horrible fucking attitudes that are used up old, wrinkly, 4,000 dudes in the... Guys, what? Why? So what they're telling you guys is that you need to level up to get to average or below average women? Fuck that shit. Hell no. You guys have earned better. And what I mean by better is the, um, oh my, foreign women in general. Yeah, yeah, there's no, all of them are that way, blah, blah, blah. Shut the fuck up, idiot. Sit your ass down, get in the back seat, get in your little red wagon. Oh, there's a guy with the fucking motorcycle. He's got, he's riding his girlfriend on the back of him. Some chick. Anyway. No, I refuse. You guys have earned better. Don't you, guys, don't you believe you've earned better than that? Seriously, why would you settle for less and have to become high value? That's bullshit. And by the way, what does that matter? Guys, I'm not bragging. I'm just saying my business has done 70 figures multiple times over. So what? Do I still, have I still, have I earned better than you guys? Not necessarily. If a guy's a great guy, why can't he get a great woman? You see what I'm saying? So that's why it kind of infuriates me and pisses me off when these guys are telling you that you need to go for that. Now, let's segue into the Latinas. I know it took me 12 minutes to get there, but anyway, the traditional Latinas are trained, they're nurtured, they're taught to be good to their men. Average guys, normal guys with normal jobs that don't have to be high value in all this to get a tatted up, blown out chick. What is that? Hell no. Hell no. Your average traditional Latina, for example, you go to Mexico, your average Latina there knows how to cook. She learned it from birth. She learned how to clean. She learned that she is there to support you. Do you see the difference, guys? She is there to support you. All she cares about is that you are good to her, that you're a good man, that you don't beat the shit out of her, that you are caring. That's what they want, guys. Simple. There is no, oh, you got to make fucking $5 million a year just to sniff this stank box. There's none of that, guys. There is no shaming you because you don't fulfill all these goddamn requirements. Do you see what I'm getting at? Latinas are absolutely incredible. They're silly. They're fun. Oh, don't worry, misters. I got it for you. I'll pick it up. They're, they're very, um, they're very, uh, what is it? Uh, lively. They've got great attitudes, happy. You know, they're so supportive guys. If you guys haven't dated a freaking traditional Latina, you're missing out. Especially if you're looking for a girlfriend or marriage. I know a lot of guys discourage it. I get it. I'm not saying it's ideal, and especially not in this country, not in America. But if you're really going to do it, your best shot is with them, is with a traditional woman. Now, the Latinas, what makes them interesting is the family unit. 
the family unit, if you guys are not familiar, especially in a lot of foreign countries, the, fam the family unit is much more tight-knit. The man is definitely the head of the household. There is no doubt about it. But inside the house, the woman is in charge of the kitchen. She is in charge of all that stuff, guys. She doesn't even want you in the kitchen. You're not even allowed in the kitchen. She'll fucking try to stab you. You know what I'm saying? Stay out of the kitchen, right? Another thing about traditional Latinas. Now, I know they're different in every country. I get that. But I've dated a lot of different Latinas, guys. El Salvadorian, Colombian. Yes, I was a Chad. Mexican. Tons of Mexican girls. Do you see what I'm saying? Guatemalan. Honduras. Uh, Colombian. You name it, guys. But they all function around that similar principle. The family unit is supreme. You see what I'm saying? They believe in family first, and that's how it goes. Generations. Generation after generation after generation. You don't need to lift a finger once you get in that household. You do not have to ask for anything. You will be treated with something that American girls don't have any... They don't have any of this for you. Respect. The Latinas will treat you with respect. They will not disrespect you. They'll not shit on your name. They know better, guys. It's just a different lifestyle. It's unreal. Now, if you haven't had Latin cooking from a traditional Latin woman, holy... Guys, your mind is going to be blown at how delicious. Oh, my God. Delicious. Authentic traditional let's just okay let's take mexican for example most of you guys have had mexican food right tex-mex all this heavy cheese heavy it's real heavy and greasy and all guys hell no traditional mexican food from a mexican girl is unreal soft fluffy corn tortillas flour tortillas this guy's running in the street what the fuck is he doing i see the craziest shit guys everything from scratch you are going to be blown away she you're going to gain fucking 10 pounds if she keeps feeding you i'm telling you guys unreal unreal gentle affectionate passionate that's another thing in the bedroom oh my god latinas are phew. guys unreal they will blow your effing socks off if you guys have not dated them if you have not had the uh, if you haven't had one as a girlfriend, a wife, I mean, it's it's ridiculous. They have so much passion. And it, it, I know it's a stereotype, but it's true, guys. They're so friggin' passionate. Uh, but that, remember, the cons. <laughs> On the other side, you guys got to be strong. And you cannot show a ton of weakness. And you cannot be, uh, you know, you can't uh, do her wrong. You know, do something horrible to her, disrespect her name or anything like this, she will freak the fuck out, okay? So, you definitely gotta put the smack down, you gotta be in charge. Now, you don't need to be ostentatious or really over the top. You just gotta be, you gotta let her know, hey, I'm the man, you're the woman, that's that. Oh shit, people trying to cut me off, baby. So, I know this is a brief introduction to the, to the Latinas, to traditional Latinas, but I want you guys to get into that mindset. The mindset is completely different. And once you are, you know, uh, you have that experience, you're going to be like, damn, the American girls, why do you guys think I have so many videos on going forward? It's not just because I hate American women. It's that they just don't measure up, guys, in any way. They literally have nothing to offer you that a foreign woman can't blow your freaking socks off and your, you know, your dick. These, uh, uh, you know, traditional Latinas are superior in every way. Not only that, they stay in shape. They don't get out of shape. They don't gain 400 pounds when you get in a relationship. They stay in shape. They keep their hair long. They stay feminine. Guys, if you want a frig friggin' feminine woman, I, 
it's it's hard. They're hard to beat. The only other women that can even come close are Eastern European, Asian, maybe Indian. Uh, you get what I'm saying? So I know this is a brief introduction, guys, but I want you to understand that the little Latinas, holy, <laughs> they're they're absolutely incredible, especially the traditional ones. And they don't stay on the market long in America. Now you can definitely find them in your country, uh, their country. But as far as like, you know, just hanging out in America, not usually. They get they get they get freaking uh, swallowed up pretty quickly. But anyway, brief introduction for today, guys. Traditional Latinas, absolutely incredible, hands down. If you have not dated one, you have. To, I mean, what are you waiting for? You want traditional Hispanic food? You want to be taken care of? You want somebody who is going to reciprocate that you can take care of as well? Guys, it, it, it's, I don't know what to tell you. I will do another video though on traditional Asian women and I have dated them as well. Absolutely spectacular. Yeah, guys, if you want somebody that's going to be there for you and, and ride or die chick, <laughs> definitely the little Latinas. But anyway, guys, Sorry for the crappy video, but definitely uh, we'll, we'll do this again, but I'm going to have a better setup. <laughs> anyway, like, subscribe, five friends. Let's set up some coaching calls. Let's kick some ass. Comment in the comment section. Until next time, guys. I'm watching you. Let's get to it.